G'day fancasters, welcome to the tipping video. If you haven't seen the main pod, head on over and check that out before you get to this one because we did talk all things footy. We did have a proper footy chat in that one. So we're going to roll right into Friday night. The Collingwood Magpies coming off a loss to my mob. Suck shit, Collingwood. Uh, hosting <laughs> Geelong. Hosting Geelong. Mate, Jamie Elliott could be back for this game. I reckon if he's back, then Collingwood win. I have a lot of faith in him. I do. Ooh. I'm going Collingwood on the rebound. Not bad. I don't even know the matchups. I haven't even looked at this week. So Collingwood Geelong. Um, I'm going to say uh, Collingwood. I tipped Collingwood last week. They did me dirty there. <laughs> um, I will go with Collingwood again by the same margin as I did last week by about, uh, what was it, nine points? Yeah. Yeah, we had a lot of close games last week. Some of them were pretty damn close. Uh, this one I also feel will be a very close game. You're all going Collingwood. You know what? Stuff, you stuff it. I'm going to go Geelong. I'm going to tip Geelong. Uh, they're in good, good form. Well, they're in good form. Yeah. Yeah. Great. They've been in some really good opposition. They beat my boys and they beat your boys. So oh, really good opposition. Oh, thank you, Joe. Tom Stewart. I, I can well. be nice. Yes. Tom Stewart yeah. playing in the midfield. Just I like starting that a move. Yeah, yeah. Good. yeah. So I'm going to go the Cats by 17. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Collingwood by two. Collingwood by two. Collingwood by 12. 12. And you said by nine. By nine. Very nice. <laughs> Saturday afternoon, the Swans are back at the SCG and they are hosting the North Melbourne Kangaroos. Ooh. They had a great win last week, North. They beat Broad Coast Suns at Marvel. <laughs> Swans have lost two in a row, though. And no Isaac Heaney. No and Isaac no Heaney for We got the week. news here. Don't You're... worry, we're up to date. Anna, are, they, are we going north? I'm tipping north. Yeah, <laughs> fuck it. I'm tipping north. Oh, I curse. Sorry. <laughs> I'm tipping north by five. Five points. Oh, wow. <laughs> North by five. North Melbourne to lose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, pick the Swans. Uh, 40 points. 40. Oh. Haven't That's done. just cruel. I believe North Melbourne have actually had a decent track record in they terms have. of close games with Sydney where, remember last year where the interchange uh, mm, kerfuffle? That's right. And mm. that led to the Sydney win. And I believe North put in a good showing at the SCG last time they were there. I think they lost by about 11 points. Mm-hmm. So I'll go, I'll go Sydney by 16 to get the wheels back in motion. You heard it from me, North by five. Yeah. I'd love to go with you, but I just can't see Fine. North. I, can't, I just can't see Sydney Fine. losing three in a row. If they do, mate, build, build, the Clarko a, build, build Clarko a statue <laughs> right now on Arnold <laughs> Street, if that was the case. I'm going to say the Swans by 21. Hawks now, uh, again, the same time, 145. I hate oh. these double up fixtures. It's just AFL, mate. 145, one 210. That's how it should be if you're going to have yeah. two Saturday Arvos. And the 210 is much better because we've got a cricket game and it's during our tea break, so I get to watch some of the footy. Yes. yes, make it about yourself, <laughs> Swiss. Make it, it about is. yourself. It's always about myself, mate. The Hawks, <laughs> the Hawks are hosting the Fremantle Dockers in Launceston. And if it was anywhere else, I would have said Fremantle. But... Tasmania just seems to have a special, yeah, yeah. there you go. Uh, the Tassie Devils are going to support the Hawks, I feel. The Hawks will get up. You oh. reckon the Hawks get up? Yeah, you're the Hawks. Oh, right here, mate. Uh, You've uh, got to go straight to me. Yeah, right. it has to be for um, you for this one. I'm going to say I think Freo um, are just, you know, they're in such good form. I think, you know, as a form suggests right now, they're probably the third best side in the competition right now. I think that's a lot to ask. At the current minute, we have had some good wins, but when uh, when I saw that performance last week against Geelong, that makes me think, yeah, gee, a bit of a reality check. You know, can we do it maybe for Mitch Lewis, who is unfortunately Sicily is Sicily back? Uh, he's a test to play. Mm. Same with Ginevan and same with Deer. So I'm going to go Freo, unfortunately, but um, uh, I'm not ruling ourselves out, but I think Freo, just that le- uh, a couple of levels above us, I th- I'll say Freo by 15 points. It's one of the hardest road trips to go from Perth down to Launceston. It's a massive trip. It's a massive trip. But, think, for, but Freo's record's not too bad when they actually I think last time we played them there, they, they wiped the floor with us. I think that was back in 2019, I think. So, um, yeah, it'll be an interesting contest. Who are you tipping? Well, place? I've got to go against our main rivals, our Tassie main rivals here. Yeah. And that, so I'm going to get on the Freo Dockers. 
Freo are going to win this by about, oh, let's go 25 points. Okay. There you are. Anna? I don't know. I love it. <laughs> Do we come back to this one? <laughs> you can, can say we come back? Can, no, the pick one. Anna, you can, oh, Anna, let's, you let's can re- say a draw. Let's readdress after we do the rest because I, I'll have to reassess it after I'm, I've gotten out all my angst with the other games. Once we go for the other games, you're going to forget about this game. Yeah. Exactly, and then I'll be able to say who I think is going to win. Yeah. You can I'm say confused. a draw. It's yeah. all good. You can say calm the draw. Yeah. No, nah, they're not going to draw. Yeah, the Freo, the purple. All right, so you know, so you know enough. Then that's not going to be a draw. All right. Yeah. We'll come back. We'll come to back. It. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> so boring. This I know. Is, no, it's not quite boring. You've completely thrown our schedule off. You've thrown no, Joe off. Yeah. No, we don't have a schedule. It's exactly. all right. Exactly. We're just we're about as useless as scheduling when it comes to the AFL as well with their fixturing. Oh, we're way better than that. We're mate. way better than that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the dogs. At 4.35 p.m. are hosting the Carlton Blues at Marvel Ooh. Stadium. Do you have any ideas about this one, Anna? I think Carlton have to win this game. They've, mm. they've got to win. And gotcha. they've got to beat the Dogs. Although the Dogs also have to win. <laughs> but I think Carlton will win yep. by a small margin. I, I think Carlton win. I think not, not so small because I just don't know which Bulldogs is going to rock up. They're just so inconsistent. It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, mm. I'd say both on the rebound, but I think Carlton, they'll, yeah, on that fast deck, Kurnow has been down. I think the dogs' back line's probably been their issues for a while. No, Liam Jones. Um, I'm going to pick the uh, the blue baggers by 45 points. Can I say something annoying? Yeah. It depends how many times the umpires are going to let the opposing <laughs> team hold Charlie, Charlie Kurnow. Kurnow. <laughs> Because they were holding more game yes. last weekend and no one said a word. So it depends what, what kind of umpires are officiating, to be honest. Yeah. I'll go with Carlton. Week. I think they'll probably deserve the win. Uh, okay. I'm, so here's my <laughs> oh, old here we go. call. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 you can see it in his eyes before no. he starts speaking. Oh, yes. No, no, no. This it's not going to be for. what you expect. Oh. Both teams to kick 100 plus points this Ooh. week. Oh, that's fun. I like that. And I think Carlton will win by 18 points. Uh, I think both teams will be, uh, will massively want to respond. I think both teams will come out firing. I think it could be a game of the round potential. Wow. So I think it's going to be that type of game. Um, usually these bold calls have really come back to bite me. So we'll see how we no, go like this it. time. Yeah, Carlton both won teams to 100. score 100 plus yeah. and Carlton will win by 18 points. Yeah, I can see Carlton kicking. Like 120 points. It'll be a very entertaining the dogs game for the casual butt, fan. Yeah. Mm. Very entertaining. That I would think be... the doggies are going to play terribly now that I think about it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The dogs are screwed. Um, <laughs> as is Bevo. Uh, <laughs> 7.30 p.m. on mm. the Saturday, the night game. Yes. Correct. You can give the <laughs> thumbs up. Adelaide, the Crows oh. are hosting the St. Kilda Saints. Ooh. Adelaide Oval. Without Rankin. Without Ooh. Isaac Rankine. Oh, so hard. Rankine. That's very hard. Rankin. We and don't now play Adelaide well. are rank. Adelaide are rank. They we are. don't they play generally well are. against the Crows, though. We don't play well in Adelaide. It's just, you just got to play the don't. same way you played last week. Gusto. Take the game on. Fearless football. I'm There's tipping no us. King. I'm tipping us. I'm tipping you as well. Thank you. Stuff the crumb. Going to go the crumb by... Three points. Oh, I just I've got no faith. I got no supporter. faith either way with these teams. And they'll just I think the Saints on the road, meh, the Crows, meh. It's our last it's just, uh, game yeah. on the road. I think. See, I'm gonna go the Crows as well by about eight points. My problem with St Kilda is they can put in this ripping performance, but mm. my problem is the week after they yeah. just they just can't string um, a couple of good games together. So I, is, is, I, is, I am gonna right? go the Crows. It's called the breadcrumb. <laughs> <laughs> And that's what they do, and it's okay. I love them anyway. I'm still tipping the same. <laughs> it's going to be a tight game either way, I think. <laughs> yeah. Misplaced yeah. hope is my No, thing. it's not going to be a good game. It'll be a tight game. Oh, the, tight game? You're right with the Carlton Bulldogs. I think it'll be, be a good, good game. game. This is not going to be a good game. No, it won't game. be a good okay. game. This is going to be It trash. won't be a good game to watch. Oh, it'll this be a low-scoring game. <laughs> as a neutral, yeah, I don't think it'll be a good game. No neutrals <laughs> watching this game. Neither with team Melbourne scores over on, six. No neutrals yeah, watching at all. Yeah, <laughs> with at the same time, 7.30 p.m., Melbourne what Demons are hosting yeah. the Essendon Bombers mm. without Max Gorn, without Christian Petrarca. It's going to be tough, though. I have to surely believe that my boys can do it. Yeah, you have to. I don't, but you do. Thank you. But will we do it, you reckon? You tipping us? Essendon, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I don't know. It's tough. Like but, Melbourne have to play well. They have to. But if they don't have the cattle, how do they play well with no Gorn and no Petrarca? Who plays well for them? I'm tipping as an but only because I like you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> See. Nice. I Seriously. want to tip Essendon by 10 goals plus. No. The problem is <laughs> Essendon don't, do don't know how to win by big margins. Essendon should win this game. No, we by decide over 10 goals. not to. It's not that we don't Just know how to. Don't we know, decide have a clue not how to, to. to do that. And these are always danger games for Essendon. And yeah, the problem is, is Essendon's game. forward line is an issue. <laughs> and they're up against one of the better defending teams in the cup, you know, with May, Lever, Tommy Mack. But I still think the Bombers are still too good to get the job done. So, oh. Mate, we've got through. one Nate Caddy, mate. Who? Yeah. Lever, who? Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll give you 20 points. Thank you. I'll give you 33 points. Yeah. Essen, Ooh, that's Essen a big 33 call. points. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I just think Gorn is a massive out. Huge. Um, I think Essen um, can get the job done pretty pretty comfortably. And uh, I think uh, as much as you bagged the Adelaide St Kilda game, I think um, – uh, last ten minutes of the fourth quarter, I think a lot of neutrals will swap to that game. We're still to how close, close, close it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This, I think, this game is going to be two goals either way. I think it could go two goals either way. If we lose to this Melbourne, you're not team, losing to this Melbourne. Then game. that that would be. It's not happening. Bookmark so this. disappointing. Bookmark so you are not. I'm putting the biggest jeans. You are not losing to Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> he's fixing it. He's trying to. Can I get a lock? Know, Does anybody have a big lock you. for my lock of the week? Hey, hey, hey! I don't know if you can zoom in. <laughs> I've literally messaged him. Uh, well, no, I asked him a question. Hey, can Essendon? Is Essendon any chance to be Collingwood this week? And he just goes, "No, lol." And I just respond with. <laughs> I just got maniacal laughter. So that's right. You can try mozzing us as much as you want. Yeah. Your moz doesn't work, mate. <laughs> All right. Sunday football, the Fraud Coast, they're at home. So they might not be fraudulent now. They're hosting <laughs> Port Adelaide. This is hard. This is so hard. This is easy. Really? Yeah. This is because of that Gold, Gold Coast. Coast win by a point. <laughs> <laughs> by a point. Oh, no. Easy. Easy one Gold point Coast. win. Gold Coast win, mate. Home game, they I th- win. Yeah, I think Gold Coast. <laughs> I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go 28 points. But the thing you've got to remember, Gold Coast obviously biggest head case because they only win at home. Port are a head case team as well. They've they just are. come off a massive win. They Watch are. them come out and offer nothing this week. I can see Butters losing his head and punching someone in the face. Well, like gonna, he was subbed uh, out. Port he could was have subbed out because Port he could was have too everything. angry. Port could do there's anything a, this who, week. Wait. There's enough carnage in Supercoach. Yeah. Can we please <laughs> yeah. not? Do anything more with, the, uh, with their current sides, Joe. I think Port are going to win. Ooh. I like that. Tipping yeah, Port. Good. That's yeah, nice. Yeah. They're yeah, nice. Yeah. I want to tip Port I don't as like well. It, oh, do it, Joe. It's because it. I, I, I hate do it. the Suns. Do it. Why, why so much hate for the Suns? They're like everyone's it's second favourite. You know what the funny thing is? Because I say this, and the only person, people that don't say the Suns are my second favourite team are Essendon supporters. Like Essen supporters have got this chip on their shoulder about the Suns. It's because What's we know the story. Fo- we know football, <laughs> and you're going to be sick of the Suns in a few years' time. <laughs> we can see it happening, and I just want to enjoy hating on the Suns right now before it becomes vogue but and I've everyone fl- else jumps I've flown on hating up to them. watch the Suns play at home a few times. They're, they're, they're spuds. I Get hate around the Suns. them. No, I, hate <laughs> I the think Suns. they're just overrated, drastically overrated. But that's Where's the just love? me. Uh, maybe, maybe it's Dimmer Hardwick. And I'm not, a, I'm not an Essendon supporter, yeah. but I still think that the Suns have proven nothing, but everybody's on, on the bandwagon for no reason whatsoever. I, I just find it like prove yourself and then we'll get on there, but stop jumping on before you've done anything. You've done nothing. Can I nothing. drop this somehow? <laughs> I want to drop her mic or something. That, that was epic. That's why I'm not on board yet. <laughs> Love Prove it. it. And then I get on there. You couldn't have said it any better. 3.20 p.m. <laughs> on Sunday, go. the Richmond Tigers up against the Giants. Giants by 50 plus. <gasps> Is that it? Giants by 50 yeah. plus. Yeah, Giants by 10 goals. Oh, that's yeah. Okay. I say three goals. <laughs> Giants by three. We're, we're not. We're not, not getting three that. Points? We're not getting three that goals. Points. Okay. Giants by thirty-seven. Ooh. Three uh, I'm going to that game, so you can say hi to me. Oh yeah. If, yeah, so I, MCG, I am going to that game. Same so here. Yeah, I'm taking a couple of mates. So, so yeah, great. We'll say good day. Sure. True. Yeah. Hopefully, True. anybody out there, oh. if you want to catch up with either Steve and myself, yep, just track us down. Yeah, yeah. Say good day to us. Track them down. There you go. What are you doing, Joe? Do you want to come to the game? 
this Sunday. I have stay in the city after, I the, can, after you're celebrating the Essendon win. Mm. Big night, mate. Oh, listen, yeah. look at him. I mean, that <laughs> game is going to be boring. <laughs> Talk be boring. about a boring football game. That's <laughs> going to be the most boring game. Around. I'd rather shell peas. <laughs> All right. The last game of the round, the West Coast Eagles, who may or may not be with Simo in this, the coach's box. This yeah, we don't know who everything. the coach is. That's right. If he's <laughs> in the box, then the Eagles lose to Brisbane That's Lions. That's right. <laughs> but if... If he's not in the box and it's a new coach in there, then the Eagles win because the new coach curse or is, is it, 100%. Is it a it new coach course, a curse or is it a sacking curse? The sacking this curse. Is, this is the hard thing right now because right now, yeah, I'm leaning between the Eagles to win by a point or the Lions winning by 10 goals. Yeah, correct. And I don't know which way to go. I'm going to say the Lions by 10 goals just because I, I don't know who's coaching. I think Simpson uh, will And coach. that's the thing. They could have a new coach and it could be Matty Knights. Oh, if, so it's Ma- if it's <laughs> Matty Knights, if it's Matty Knights, then no, nothing is saving Matty Knights. He is just pure <laughs> mediocrity <laughs> at its finest, and he has ruined the Essendon Football Club <laughs> for so many years. I will never forgive you, and I'll never forget you, and I hope you never win a game of football. Oh, who, my God. Who, I think Brisbane Knights. are winning that game. Yeah. Yes, Brisbane. Who, who ruined the Essendon Footy Club more, Hurd or... Uh, nah, no. Matthew Knights. Matthew Knights has so much to pay for. Far out, man. <laughs> He has ruined this club. <laughs> and to think that Damien Hardwick's fucking PowerPoint presentation <laughs> stuffed up and we went with Matthew Knights. Oh. No, that worked about, out for you. No, no. I know. Talk about Trump and Biden, mate. That, that's exactly what we had going on at that point oh, in time. Oh, my God. But, yeah, no. Nah, Lions. That's so good. Lions winning. See, sure. who, who did Brisbane play last week? Brisbane. Adelaide. Adelaide at home. I'm going back to the Good Hawks. Job. I'm going to tip them. Oh, yeah. Tip them yeah. Arms, yeah, fuck it. I'm tipping the Hawks. Let's go. <laughs> uh, 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 hey, I'm sitting on tip here. Oh. Uh, Brisbane by 95. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. That is what hey, we're about. No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is he wood playing? I love that. Is he wood playing? <laughs> yes. I know. That, that, that's, why, that's, that's why we like to end with Steve. That's right. I think, that, I think that if uh, Simo's coaching this week, the West Coast players will go, uh, let's give him one last good send off. We <laughs> want him gone. <laughs> gone for good. Oh, we wouldn't nah, want to win nah, this nah, game and nah, let them change their mind. No, no, no. Oh, this is me. <laughs> hey, does, he, hey, does he get cheered hey, off hey. after the game? Goodbye. <laughs> no, no, we're going to do that for every single coach that gets sacked this year. Don't you worry. It's nothing, again, nothing personal, Simo. Nothing personal. I like no, how, who else I like, getting sacked? I like how in this week's Ken. podcast we put in this <laughs> lovely. Pinkley? Exactly. If I'll, they fall out of the eight, mm. he's going. No, 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 no. We can't preempt. We can't preempt the nana. I, I like uh, in our previous po- uh, podcast that we did. Bevo. We were giving this. We were giving uh, Adam Simpson this massive congratulations. Good stuff, mate. <laughs> and now we were. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Simo, you're welcome on our podcast anytime. And that. <laughs> and on that note, guys, <laughs> best of luck with your tipping. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the like, share. Send it to all your friends and family. Most of your friends. Don't show us your family. But, um, <laughs> yeah, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next, in the next episode here on the pod. Yeah. See you guys. Bye.